Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. We're speaking to American Manganese CEO and President Larry Ray on October 15th. Larry, you just put out a news release for American Manganese, and the numbers were quite nice. Well, it's an exciting release and a, definitely one of the turning points in the company. Um, you know, it was titled, uh, The Bounces X-Ray Diffraction Results from Upcycled Cathode, cathode Material. And uh, the contents are really telling you something. It's uh, the material that we actually uh, uh, reclaimed from the recycled material that we leached and then we precipitated out uh, uh, lithium, lithium ion cobalt material and we got a hundred percent recoveries on those so that is a very high number as a matter of fact the comparison that we used was a uh, cathode material that was supplied by one of the commercial suppliers and uh, they were at 97 percent purity and we were at a hundred percent what does that mean the purer the product the, the less chance uh, much less chance you have of uh, battery fires or explosions. So, you know, we could actually probably take cathode material that is produced uh, by these uh, companies that sell the cathode material to the battery manufacturers, and we could probably uh, clean that up and purify it, which would make a much safer battery. But that's not the business we're going into. We're looking at producing uh, cathode material from spent electric, electric vehicle batteries and uh, being able to uh, resell that back to the manufacturer. And when I say that, it's uh, the, high, the purity is very important. So we've uh, shown that we can get a high purity. And the last step that we have to take is to produce the uh, rechargeable button cell batteries, and, uh, you know, that's key. I mean, you, if your cathode material will not take a the charge, then, uh, then you've, uh, you've got some kind of a flaw in the system. But when you've got 100% material, um, I'm sure that, we can, that we'll be successful on that. We've moved through the process of our proof of concept, and uh, we're nearing the end of it. Um, you know, we got 100% uh, recoveries in the leaching. We got the uh, lower recoveries in the uh, precipitation because we didn't do all the lock cycle tests. Uh, we just wanted to produce powder because, uh, you know, time is money uh, when you're spending money on research. And uh, we wanted to get the uh, cathode material out through precipitation and ready for testing. But before testing, you have to make sure that it's got a, it's, what its purity is, and that's what the X-ray diffraction is all about. And uh, those results today are showing that we got 100%. So, you know, that's a high pure, high purity cathode product. And, um, you know, the I couldn't be happier about the results. This is turning out much the way we thought it would. What's that mean for the company? Uh, it opens many doors once the proof of concept's done. Uh, the uh, senior companies out there in the battery manufacturing or the electric vehicle manufacturing or recycling uh, will start looking at us uh, in a much more serious fashion. And we're looking for a partner, uh, whether it's a uh, battery manufacturer or a uh, EV uh company or a uh, recycler or, you know, it could be somebody wanting to break into the electric vehicle space uh, in another avenue. Uh, we already see Google and Apple and uh, oil companies that are doing this. So, you know, the vista is wide open. It's a great spot to be in. Larry, how rare is a 100% discovery? That is 100% recovery, 100% purity of the product, and uh, which is uh, 
you know, basically there's nothing else with it. So it's a hundred percent recovery. Yes. And, uh, you know, that's what you're, that's what you strive to do. You strive to get the best recovery you can and, uh, to be able to recycle this material. So you have a circular economy and you don't have to have it ending up in a smelter being burnt up or a landfill or some toxic waste. Uh, storage area uh, you know it's uh, it's a solution out there uh, for many many things and I think chief among them is uh, I know we talk about lithium being in short supply but nobody's you know people are talking now about cobalt being in short supply and uh, cobalt is definitely uh, high on the list uh, at least with us uh, because there's more cobalt in the battery than there is lithium, uh, quite a bit more. There's 60% cobalt, 4% lithium. And uh, cobalt is now about $27,000 a ton, which, uh, you know, makes it a very attractive. Uh, for example, Tesla, if uh, one of their uh, uh, Model S's has a uh, lithium-ion ba- cobalt battery in it, uh, the... Uh, actual amount of cobalt is about 55 kilograms and uh, so you take 55 kilograms that's 1250 uh, you know at $25 a kilogram or whatever um, you know you've got uh, you know $1200 $1300 just in cobalt in that one battery that may weigh up uh, up to a thousand pounds and uh, so you can see where I'm going with this is uh it would be great to recycle that material. Uh, cobalt is a byproduct. Most of it's produced from byproduction. And uh, it will be in short supply. And uh, we'd like to be able to fill that gap. Larry, the number of cars sold in China every day is tremendous. What is the latest number you've heard? And even if 1% of that becomes electric in the near term, that's a lot of batteries to sell. The last number I saw was about 25,000 a day. That's a humongous amount of vehicles hitting the market. We're interested in the, the uh, batteries that have the chemistry of lithium cobalt or lithium nickel manganese cobalt or, li- or lithium cobalt aluminum. Those chemistries are the ones we want to focus on. Why? Well, the, uh, when you get down to uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, uh, you know, the byproduct of that, the product of the cathode material, doesn't have a lot of value. And, uh, you know, if you can't make money, then you can't uh, you can't proceed to, uh, you know, be a good recycler. So, uh, you know, that's the ones we're focusing on. And uh, certainly uh, China has a lot of that, but they have a lot of... Uh, iron phosphate, you know, lithium iron phosphate batteries too. So uh, that's an area we haven't covered, one we may look at. Uh, once we get the process down and everything else, it could uh, it could become economical. Uh, but at this stage, the real money is in uh, lithium cobalt, lithium nickel manganese cobalt, which are the popular batteries out there. Larry, where can people find out more about American manganese? They can go to uh, our uh, website, which is AmericanManganeseInc.com. They can definitely phone me here at my offices at 778-574-4444. Or they can email me at lray, R-E-A-U-G-H, at A-M-Y, Amy, M-N, MotherNorman.com. And what's your stock symbol? Our symbol is A is AMY dot B. We're also listed in uh, on the uh, pink sheets in the U.S. at AMY ZF, and uh, we're listed in uh, Frankfurt as Two uh, M. Larry, thanks for updating us. Okay, you're welcome. I'm Jim Goddard. We were speaking with American Manganese CEO and President Larry Ray on October 15th. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com.
Company Showcase is a production of House Street Media Incorporated. 